My name is Dr. John Mativo, a managing director and CEO of the Kenya Electricity Transmission Company here at Marikani Substation. Uh, Marikani Substation uh, is a substation between uh, the substations of Isinia and Rabai. Uh, and here we have two voltage levels, uh, 400 and 220 kV. Uh, once this project is finished, uh, substation is energized, power will be flowing from the part of uh, Suswa to Isinia all the way to Marekani at 400 kV, then stepping down to 220 to take it to Rabai and feature to Dokundu and other areas. And from there, power flows to the whole of coast region all the way to Lamu. Uh, the primary benefits of Marekani substation, one of them is it allows us to uh, increase the voltage level from uh, SA Daisy Senior. This allows more power, almost 1,500 megawatts plus, to be able to flow uh, to cost area. So it increases the capacity, even as the demand increases in cost, that increases. Secondly, because it's a line that is operating at a higher voltage, we also allow the level of stability will improve and ensure that we will eliminate virtually all voltage drops. People in cost should be able to see a, a big improvement of the quality of power that is there. The third thing is, it's also related to the Ethiopia Kenya line that comes, which we have HVDC, which is a very big project almost with a capacity of 200 megawatts and HVDC requires to have a very robust and stable and a strong grid and therefore charging this line at 400 and other lines whether Tanzania uh, back all the way to Olkaria uh, and K Lesos and also just 400 kV ring ensures that the fault level in the grid is within uh, expectation so that we can have a stable network so it's key to improving the quality of power in cost it's key to improving the quantity of power that is prone to cost but also being able to ensure that Kenya has a very robust and strong grid to allow more and more H power come through the HVDC system into Kenya. So we look forward to having the benefits accrued to the whole of cost and beyond, and also the special economic zone that will be starting shortly in the next calendar year to have this project move forward. So thank you so much.